Hello everyone, in this video I will analyze the CPA exam pass rates for the second quarter of 2024 and provide advice on when to approach each section. I'm going to be using terms such as the easiest and the hardest. Those terms are relative. I'm going to be using them based on the scores that you're seeing on the screen. I don't believe a particular section is easier or harder harder than another section. Any exam could be hard if you're not prepared. Any exam could be easy if you are prepared. So when I say easy, according to the pass rate, hard, according to the pass rate, it's all relative. Now we get that out of the way, let's start to analyze the scores. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. FAR continues to have the lowest pass rate, which is the most difficult exam with the cumulative average of 41%. Since FAR has the lowest pass rate, it's wise to tackle FAR first before any other sections. That's one reason. The second reason is FAR is considered the foundation for audit. FAR is considered the foundation for regulation, which is tax. In college, you had to take financial accounting and intermediate accounting before you took audit. For the same reasons, you should take FAR first. FAR, then what's next? Well, next is audit. According to the score, the pass rate in audit is 45, almost 46%. It's considered the second hardest of the core sections. And you should take audit after FAR because it should make sense. If you want to audit the company, you should be familiar with GAP. Third core should be RAG, with a pass rate of 63%. RAG is considered much easier according to the score than the other two, so I will keep RAG for last. Now let's discuss the discipline. If you excelled in RAG, enjoy the tax topics, or if you are an enrolled agent, or, or if you work in taxation, take TCP next because it's considered the easiest discipline. Why? Because it has the highest pass rate. I would avoid bar if you did not do well in FAR, if you don't like financial reporting topics. Why? Because in bar, you are going to see again revenue recognition. You're going to see leases. You're going to see governmental accounting. You're going to see consolidation at a more advanced level. Obviously, you want to take FAR before you take bar. But if you did not like FAR and you barely passed, avoid bar. Who should take information systems and controls, or when should you take it? Well, you should take it last. That's the first thing. Take your discipline last. Why? Because discipline, you have options, whether you want to take this discipline or that discipline. The value of an option is time. The more time you can give yourself, the better off you are with your choices, because the more time that goes by, the more information you have about yourself, about your career, the better is your selection. You should take information systems and control if you excel in audit, you did very well in audit, you work in IT or you like IT or both. Audit, ISC. RAG, TCP. If you did very well in FAR, take BAR. So, to summarize, for the core section, FAR first, audit next, then RAG. Then if you did well in RAG and you like taxation, TCP is no brainer. As far as the score, almost 80% are passing TCP, according to the score. Then between BAR and ISC, choose the one that either is considered a low-hanging fruit, which is easier for you to pass, or the one that serves your career. Now, sometimes it's worth investing the extra knowledge. If that extra knowledge, that extra effort, that extra energy will serve your career path. If you work in information systems, you should take the ISC. If you work in audit, you should take the ISC. If you work in taxation, take TCP. What should you do now? Our Hat Lectures is always here to help. If you're not a member, start your free trial. 
we can help you pass the exam, whether you're studying with Becker, Miles, Glein, Surgeon, or any other CPA review course, you would. We are here to help you. Good luck, study hard, and stay safe.